See, if you accept the existence of theater as valid, then you have to also accept the fact that any theater activity is not a democratic process. Show me any director who functions in a democratic way. It is not possible. There has to be a leader. And the leader's charisma can vary and thus be interpreted in various ways. So I think that the charges of Al-Qazi being autocratic and this being a flaw uh, are baseless. The question is whether he, whether we as students imbibed these qualities, whether we inherited his so-called arrogance or his so-called elitism. I don't think that is so. What I think we have inherited is his discipline and his commitment to his work. And I think basically people are unhappy that Mr. Al-Qazi ever had to go away. Everyone thought he's, he could go on forever like a well-oiled machine. And they were angered that he decided to leave. They forgot that he has a heart. And it was terribly tragic that he went away embittered and sad himself. And it is no surprise that NSG has never been the same. Because without getting personal, I don't think that anyone who has succeeded him has had either the talent, his talent, or his dedication. And I don't think that anyone who has succeeded Al-Qazi as director has been able to shed himself of the ghost of Al-Qazi which hovers around all the time. None of them is an Al-Qazi and yet they all try to be without having his talent and without having his drive and without his dedication and his ability to work himself to the bone. Most of the people who have been in charge of NSD while they have been in charge have not been present most of the time. I cannot understand the reason for their ever coming there. Al-Qazi came there. Well, for whatever reason he came there, but while he was there, he spent all his time on the school. And he would be there at 8 o'clock in the theatre before us in the mornings. He would often wake us up. He always set a personal example. Whether he could discover an identity for Indian theatre or not, or whether he filled the school with a mediocre staff, or whether he ran the school like a private drama club. One could concede to these points. No one is perfect. And obviously, Mr. Al-Qazi's way of running the school was not perfect either. But I think that without accusing him of not discovering an identity for Indian theatre, I mean, was it his job exclusively? At least he gave the school an identity which, tragically, it has lost since he left. And uh, the, the accusations against him are all the more sad because it's a truth that whatever his tastes may have been and his beliefs and so on, but he trained us and he worked hard at training us. And if nothing else, all right, at least he's given a generation of actors. What do you think is now the future of Indian theatre as you see it, as a person who put some time away from cinema and other activities solely devoted to theatre? Where do you see it? It's a long uh, known and accepted fact that um, it is not possible to earn a living from most language theatres. When I joined NSD, everyone said that now the situation is like this, but it'll change. I don't think it has changed all that much, except that in numbers there are a few more people doing Hindi theatre. Luckily, because we have the tradition of one or two crazy guys who were doing it before us and who kept on doing it, people like Satyadev Dubey, we have their examples. 
and so it was comparatively easier for us than it must have been for Dubey. So, uh, and it is also a fact that when cinema halls came in, uh, play theatres became somewhat redundant and now that video has come in, cinema theatres are becoming somewhat redundant and with something else coming in tomorrow, video will become redundant. So I don't know if one can really speculate on the future of the theatre. I would say that the future depends on uh, how many or how few uh, people there are who enjoy doing a play and do it for that reason and for no other. I'm afraid one cannot talk in terms of any significance of theatre apart from the few people who do street theatre. I admire their guts and their commitment to do it. But it is questionable whether they, they are achieving what they want. But it is tremendous that they do it. And ultimately, in my belief, theatre boils down to a one-to-one -one communication. One actor, one audience. Uh, the point of going to a theatre or the point of performing in a theatre is that somebody should listen to me and I should listen to somebody. Uh, I think that purpose will always be served as long as there are people who do it. So you're one of the graduates of NSD. What has been the contribution of NSD to Indian theatre? The avowed intention uh, 20 years ago was to produce a generation of theatre people who were trained and aware not only of their own past but also of world theatre and to train them with a degree of sophistication and discipline which were till then unknown. And the intention also was to produce uh, people for the various regions and uh, thereby to select people from different regions, from all regions of theatre and to train them in this manner so that they would go back to their regions and be able to uh, not just enrich the existing theatre conditions there but also be conscious enough to draw upon uh, their own past and their own cultures of folk performing or classical performing. What NSD imparted to these students from the south of India, for example, was definitely a degree of sophistication which one is perhaps not able uh, to uh, glean from the folk performances or the popular performances of any kind while imparting at the same time the degree of discipline which is required in a classical performance. I think that these students definitely became more appreciative of their own regions when they went back. I have a feeling that these expectations have been somewhat belied. The reasons are many and not the least of them is the existence of cinema and the growing uh, influence of television. Uh, it is also an accepted fact that theatre in most Indian languages is not a profession. It cannot be pursued as a profession. In the languages where it can and is, there are a number of students who have perhaps not become significant nationwide, but who are certainly doing their might. And at some stage or other, the recognition also will arrive. In the Hindi-speaking region, the expectations have definitely been not fulfilled, except for a few cases of people who have continued against all the odds. They are not people who have uh, uh, gone into films and are still doing theatre with the money they earn from films, perhaps. But they are people who have resisted this law. It is perhaps untrue to say that all those who are doing theatre only are doing it because they have no choice. I think there are a large number of NSD graduates who are doing theatre out of choice. I don't mean that they have the best of the film world offered to them either, but they are certainly doing it out of a sense of commitment and out of a sense of doing what they feel is the most important thing. 
the status of Hindi theatre itself has not reached anywhere, I would say, basically because of the lack of plays. And I really don't know how long we can go on complaining about the absence of plays. I think it is up to us who still practice theatre to try and create the plays. It is too early, however, to say whether the contribution of those who have studied at NSD is of significance or not. It has been barely seven years since Mr. Al Ghazi went away and it has existed for about 25 or 26 years. The people who have come out of there are maybe still finding their feet. I would say that there is a lot of hope.